friends, welcome in. It's Robin Robin. I have a small crochet business called Sweet Beans Crochet where I crochet and try to sell little plushies that I make. This is a week of crochet, so everything I've been able to do after work every single day, there is an order in here and uh, just a couple surprises, some things I was able to make, um, market prepping, but because I took some days off, it is a minimal market prep. So this is all the stuff I was able to produce this week. Come hang out with me, grab a whip and maybe a coffee if you're a coffee drinker and I will see you in a second. Hey guys, it is Tuesday morning, March 13th, I believe. Uh, I have a couple really exciting things to share with you. Uh, I'm going to be going to an event, I believe, in two weeks from now. So I get a weekend off from market so that I can prep more. And I might be doing two events that one weekend. I might just be doing one. But for now, I'm going to pretend like I'm doing two and make stuff like I'm doing two. Last night, I made these three um, Kindred Spirits from Poema Studio. Obviously, they don't have hair. But I'm going to make all the colors. So I've got these three right now. And then I'm gonna be working on a pink one later and a green one also. So that's what I did last night. And then I'm gonna give them all their hair. I just didn't, I didn't choose the colors yet. Another really exciting thing that happened, um, I posted my safety eyes for sale on my website and I got my first order from one of you guys, I think, or someone, um, but I'm so excited. So it was one pair of safety eyes in Noxus. Um, Believe it or not, I actually don't think I painted that size yet in Noxus. So I'm going to be doing that this morning. And then tomorrow I'm going to get these special poly mailers and I'm going to make it all pretty to send it out. And it's going to be going to Texas. Uh, so that's so exciting. Um, selling my first pair of eyes and hopefully they like them. So that's where I'm at. I'm really excited. Uh, prepping, you know, I've got a couple weeks now to prep and make, I'm going to be, you know, making stuff that has been on my mind for a minute. I'm going to definitely be making another Kato since my last Kato sold. I can't believe she sold, but I'm going to be working on Kato. And like I said in my last video, I'm going to be making multiples of things. So I don't know if you guys watch Crochet by Jenna. She's really awesome and she makes like little rainbows of things. And I'm not necessarily going to do like a full rainbow of every product, but I really do think that'll help like display them. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm kind of doing this and I'm going to make a green and a, a green and a pink one to like complete that like little rainbow. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm also in the middle of pattern testing for, I think it's Lumi Loops, which is the little peg dolls. So I'm gonna do the peg dolls. And I'm also in the middle of pattern testing for Studio, um, Studio Stitch CA, which is the bunnies. So I'm in the middle of doing the bunnies. I'm gonna make more bunnies uh, from that pattern. I'm gonna be posting about them soon. Very exciting things. So I just wanted to pop in here, say hi, show you what I've been doing. Can't believe I got my first order. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me. It is uh, unboxing time. So there are a couple of packages that just got here. Do you guys know what this is? Do you know what this is? This is Melly Inspired Crochet. And this is Groomy, Groomy Supply. So if you don't know, now you know, this is a safety eye popper from a, I think it's a small business on Etsy. So I ordered this and then Melly, uh, her Ami sticks. I am so excited. Um, I've been following along on her journey. So there's also some yarn here, but I wanted to open these first. I've been waiting to open them on camera and gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna give you a peek, ready? Okay, that was your peek. This one first, we'll do Melly. She's so pretty and she even mentioned, um, but these are little hearts, little heart wrapping bubble wrap. Bless her soul, so cute. And she sent little hearts for plushies. <laughs> I'm so excited. So my two buns, I got my Maui, I got my Hinata in Ami stick form. Very excited to sew on body parts with these. So excited. Oh, and her little, her little goodies. She's just absolutely sweet. She is so stinking cute. Okay, but let me just show you guys the elephant stickers. I see everyone posting them and I can't help it. These are just so cute. 
So Melly Inspired Crochet makes Amy sticks and plushies and videos and she's great. So I ordered stuff from her um, because I keep I kept hearing about her Amy sticks and they are just so cute and useful for what we do. So she takes DMs on Instagram for those. And this, so I asked you guys for like suggestions. Someone mentioned this, Grimi Supply, so I ordered it. Someone else also said Amazon, but I went with Grimi. Ooh, and it's wooden. Ooh, and it has a keychain on it. Okay, we could bring this, this is portable. Oh, I should have showed you before I ripped that. But there it is. <laughs> That's their logo. I ripped it before I showed you. Clearly, I'm just an excited package opener. But yeah, this is sturdy. So it's wood. And you could pop small and large eyes. I'm so excited to use this, you guys. Gurimi Supply. I ordered it off of Etsy, but it looks like you can order from their website as well. Okay. So that is, that's my tiny stuff. Every time I make a video, my bunny escapes. Every single time. And you know what? She doesn't even escape because she's like, wants to get out of her area. She escapes to tell me that she's hungry and then she goes back to her house. So she's just coming to tell me she wants me to feed her. And I feed them a lot, so. She's just extra hungry. Okay. So... Michael's had a sale. <laughs> Let's just not talk about it, but we can talk about it. Uh, so this is fog. I think this is coral. Yeah, coral. I only had, I've only ever purchased one of these and I'm basically out of it. So I'm not doing bad. And then daffodil. Okay, daffodil is so difficult to get a hold of in store, never available. So had to order that. I've never placed a Michael's order, by the way. This is my first time. Michael's order virgin over here but it's addicting and it showed up so fast. And we got winter white, all the winter white. These are gonna be bunnies, you already know. And then we got seed pearl. This is also for bunnies. Okay, I'm from British now, <laughs> from Britain, oh Lord, okay. And then we got blush. Not like I don't have enough pink already. Don't look at my closet. There's definitely some of these, but I really like it for blush. Literally, I use it for blush on Amigurumi and I really like the color on every plushie. So, got lavender. Yeah, I actually ran out of my last, my last um, skein, so I'm not crazy. These blues are also so hard to get at my Michaels. Like they're not ever there. So gotta get those. And the leggy froggy green. These are also always unavailable. So the green, the yellow, and the blue, I really have a hard time in my area finding them. And there's like three Michaels near me. So the fact that I can't find it at three Michaels, they all just can't get it. Another white. Right. Cream. So that's, these are two different colors. Winter white, cream, seed pearl. I guess they are different. They don't look very different. I know I have to make different kind of bunny variations. Like that's why I did this. And I already have like a mix of them. And one time I tried finishing a plushie, but I didn't realize I used like the other white. Like I used cream and not winter white. And then I realized like too late I added a limb and it was like the wrong color. So, you know, don't crochet at night. Another coral and mustard. That's my yarn haul. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blink and this is gonna be pretty. Ready? Woo, look. I just fixed it. So what I realized I put on all the background of all my videos is the like partial open skein so I always leave the partials here and then you know there's like tails everywhere it looks like wild and I realized to be like a curated yarn person which I'm never going to be one of those people I admire you if you're a yarn collector and like you don't just wreck all your yarn I am jealous <laughs> that you can do that I cannot do that I 
But this is um, the unopened skeins, okay? Yeah, look, we're doing good, pretty, okay? And then you look at my closet, okay? I know everyone, ha I know everyone has craziness because yarn is, you know, but ready? Vomit, okay? Like, this is realistic. <laughs> um, now that I opened up the packages, which is what I really wanted to do with you guys, um, now I'm going to go crochet. I'm going to pack the order from today that I got for the eyeballs. I'm going to pack that and show you guys how I package. I feel like that'd be fun. I'm just going to show it's one order. I have one order to package. And I'm going to bring you along for the trip. And I have to finish the peg dolls tonight because that is due. Like it's due in two days. So I have to do that. And I wanted to make another Kato because her release just happened and I wanted to post another one. Um... Because that's such a special, I feel like that's such a special, really, oh yeah, you just saw the man side, don't look at the man side, it's just ugly, no. <laughs> no. chaotic, okay, chaos. Um, yeah, so I wanted to make another Kato, I should have brought my list to tell you guys, like, what my plans are, like, what I plan on making. Kato, peg dolls, kindred spirits, Ivy the dragon, absolutely cannot stop. Ivy is just the cutest. I only made two, okay, but the fact that I made two of them and it's been like a week and a half, two weeks, um, and I've had so many like patterns in my mind, I want to make a million Ivies. They're just so sweet. And she's got a couple other, uh, Cozy Wonder Crochet has a couple other squishy babies releasing soon and I'm really excited to get my hands on those and crochet those and make them hopefully in different colors. That's kind of my goal. Moving forward, that's what I see happening for sweet beans crochet ah and i get to use these you guys okay okay update so here's one of the hoodies i wonder if i can show her uh so this is going to be the fall this is winter blue summer will be yellow and then spring will be pink so um, the pattern creator intended these to be seasonal dolls, so now I'm just going to add the little toppers. They're like these little top embellishments, and then I'll be able to take photos tomorrow, and I'm going to finish up the hair for Poema Studio dolls, and I'm actually, I already made the dresses for the Poema Studio in these colors, so I'm really excited to have uh, more cohesive products so that people can buy like bestie sets. That's kind of what I'm thinking by keeping like these colors consistently and I think they're just really cute colors but hey guys let's uh pack my first order ever so this was a order on my website for some safety eyes just to show you guys what's going to be going in this package so here is the actual packaging with the safety eyes I'm going to hole punch the paper and put the eyes in there so they look all pretty but I haven't done that yet got my hole puncher here and I got some little stickers. These are just cute little thank you stickers. And then the mailer. But I just wanted to share with you guys something that's like a little bit comical to me because, you know, we're all in this business, starting our business world together or marketing or, you know what I mean? So we're all in this together. And I went to print out like a thermal label for my company just so that I can provide it to the customer. And here's what I started with. So this is like what's on my table on the, um, what's it called? It's the table runner that I have with my logo on it. So that's what I mimicked with this. I didn't like the way that that looked. And then I added my bunny. I still felt like that didn't look how I wanted it to look. And then I took away the circle and I like this better, but it cuts off on the edge and it's too far away with the wording. So I finally got it. I feel like this feels right for me uh, for now. I know it's backwards because it's in the camera, but this feels like a little cleaner, simple, just like a little brand sticker. So I'm gonna be sending these three stickers together like that. And I'm gonna hole punch and put these eyes in just to share with you guys the pair that sold, okay? Here she is, we're doing Noxus, and these are 18 millimeter eyes. And they are freaking gorgeous, okay? They're the multicolor. Um, there's a lot of blue undertones, but a lot of the sparkles just have blue, um, happen to have blue in them. But there's also like the bronze and the pink and the yellow under there. So these are Noxus. 
And I'm going to hole punch the card now. Can't even tell you guys how excited I've been about these safety eyes. It's been like the, been such a fun project for me. Okay, so there they are in their little card. I know it's not much, okay, but it's my first time. <laughs> first time doing it. And then we're gonna put this in here with the eyes in it. All pretty. And I'm gonna add the backings in here. So they have the backings. So that's what we're looking like. And then I am going to seal this up and I'm gonna put a sticker right here that says, you know, 18 millimeter um, in Noxus so that it is labeled for them. So let me print that out and show you. So that was super simple. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna put these on the back. So right there. 18 millimeter Noxus. And then I'm gonna be honest, I don't know where I should put the stickers. I think I'm just gonna... Huh. The only thank you cards, now that I'm thinking about it, the only thank you cards that I have are for like plushies and how to take care of plushies. I know I should make thank you cards for these because I'm really grateful and like, thank you for purchasing, you know, but like, I don't even know what I would say on here. Would I say like the care instructions for the eyes, even though I have those posted with the listing? I should probably put a thank you card in here, huh? Uh, okay. Well, now you know what I'm gonna be doing. Hey guys, it's Thursday on my lunch. I'm just gonna be honest, I haven't been filming, I feel like, as much as I normally do because I took like a, I'm taking like a makeup week break or a couple day break uh, just to let my skin breathe and it's making me not wanna film my face. So going through one of those, but what's in my bag today? So last night, I didn't even share with you guys, but I added hair to one of the dolls. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna have these with the seasonal dolls that just got released from Lumi Loops. So they were, this is like the yellow, so the sunflower. So I gave her the sunflower hair. I'm working on the blue doll, which I'm gonna give her, as you can see, like the winter hair. So I'm gonna kind of make them match. I feel like that, it just, that feels right right now. And then I'm obviously gonna make a couple that are just like blonde and brunette um, at the end. But right now I'm making the seasons, so gonna finish up the hair for these dolls finally. I've had like a slow, I feel like yesterday I, the only thing I did was this hair and I took some like photos, but having like, I had like a day off basically yesterday from crochet. So I'm gonna pick back up tonight and paint some eyes and finish their hair, maybe make a couple more doll bodies. Um, dolls are really enjoyable for me. They're like a comfort pattern. So um, a couple more dolls and then I'm going to start market prepping a little bit more. Although these are still market prep. These are just like fun, <laughs> fun for me. Hey guys, it is Friday. I'm on my lunch. Um, this is Banks. This is one of the plushies that I made uh, partly when I was at my last market. So I had like a bunch of body parts just to show you. Here's some Banks body parts, but I wanted to show you guys. I got my Gurimi Supply eye gizmo I think it's called eye popper and I'm in my car on my lunch I have no hard surface or nothing to like squish this on but I already did one eyeball I just want to show you guys how simple it is for me to pop in eyeballs with this safety tool so I have the eye facing the center which is how I want it placed on banks at least and I'm going to just since I already like finished the plushie I'm just going to push it through the only hole I have left I'm gonna use the smaller side and hold it. No back on there, I'm so, I'm a doofus, okay. Put the back on there <laughs> and then push. It's so, it was so simple. Well, now I'm trying to do it, now it's not. Guys, I was able to do that in my car, on my lunch, and just now look, his little eyes are secure. I'm gonna stuff his head, close him up, give him his little facial features. But I can't believe like this makes life so much easier. 
Um, and I know a lot of people are posting about the other safety eye tool. Um, I, now that I put the backs on here, I, it, but so these are the ones that are actually hard to pop in. The little plastic ones that normally come with like 10 millimeter or 12 millimeter. I feel like those backs are really easy. Tell me, like, correct me if I'm wrong. Do you guys have a hard time with like these ones? Like these from Amazon? I feel like these are really easy to pop on. I don't have an issue popping on like these are, I think 12 or 16 millimeter eyes. I have an issue with like the specialty eyes. So I don't know. I know a lot of people are posting about those other eye gizmos right now, which is fine. It's like the clamp, you know, this guy is made a prototype like eyeball clamper, but okay. It's Friday. I haven't really been checking in with you. And after work today, I have plans, so I can't sit and crochet for a while. Yesterday, I feel like I took some time off. Like I didn't really do everything that I was supposed to do with crochet. I have a list of stuff that I want to get done, obviously for the market. And in general, I want to, you know, make some stuff and I've been a little bit lazy and really like, relaxing. So like I'll be crocheting like for comfort, you know, crocheting for comfort and I'll sit there and I'll like fall asleep and then I just go to bed. I'm like, you know, it's time for me to go to bed. Hey guys, I'm about to drop off my first uh, safety eye package at the post office. It says, warning, make uh, contents may cause extreme happiness. I'm so excited to drop this off. Let's go. Hey, it's Sunday. Uh, let me just do some explaining, okay? I had to work six days in a row this last week, so this is my one and only day off. And right now, I checked and I have about 30 minutes of video so far, and I could post uh, the 30 minutes that I have from crocheting this week, um, because I didn't crochet as much as I usually as much as I usually do. So I have a little lineup to show you guys of everything I crocheted this week. However, I was thinking of maybe just holding this until next week so I can give you guys a full long video like I normally do um, with also my market included, which would create a really long video. So I don't know what you guys prefer. I know I like to post long videos, so I might withhold this video, but I really do wanna share with you guys. I feel like if I don't post for a week, I feel like I'm like holding back stuff that I've been doing and I just wanna share it with you. So, uh, really exciting things. I got another order for the safety eyes, the painted safety eyes that I'm going to be packaging with you guys. I'll show you guys um, how I do that. And I wanted to go over the lineup of stuff that I've been creating this week. I know I've been slowly showing you bits and pieces, but I just brought everything in this room to show you guys what I've created. So, the Palm and Posy dolls, Kindred Spirits. Okay, we got all the seasons here. Um... And this is just a regular blonde one, so she's not really a seasonal color, but um, these are all of them that I have so far. Obviously, I want to create um, a one in a pink dress that's in the works right now. And then I did Binks, which my Binks doesn't really look like a Binks, okay? He doesn't really look like a deer because I used almond, which is such a light shade, but I think he's cute anyway. He kind of looks like Dobby, okay? Tell me I didn't just create like a little plushy Dobby. It's focusing on my Zaya in the background. <laughs> okay, well, uh, this is Binks. He's a squishy deer, and I feel like he looks a little bit like Dobby. I finished him last night. I know he needs the little head spots, but I'm going to be honest. I tried doing French knots, and I spent maybe 30 minutes trying to figure it out, and I've never done one before, so I need to watch more videos. I watch videos, but I still couldn't complete it, so personal issue there. And then these are the two peg dolls. I made them in different skin tones so that people could, you know, choose what they wanted. I need to create a couple more skin tones. Um, I need to create a couple more peg dolls because I have four of the dresses, which I have showed you, but these are the cloaks. So here's the winter cloak. And then this one is supposed to be the autumn. Uh, it's supposed to have a leaf on it. I didn't like the leaf on it. Personally, I know I made a video showing it off, but uh, that was for the test. I didn't want to leave it on there to actually sell. And then here's the sunflower. Super cute. And the, I'm not sure what spring flower, <laughs> what the flower is there. So those are four cloaks to go on the two dolls. I haven't made more dolls yet. I don't know if I will, honestly. I might just, we'll see. And then my work in progress is, which right now, 
I'm in the middle of pattern testing for Studio Stitch CIA, which is a bunny. There's two bunnies. There's a fairy bunny, which is Belle. And I've actually, I created her, but I put her away. So she's in a bin right now. So Belle the fairy. And then there is, um, oh, I can't remember the other bunny's name. Scarlet. Okay. Scarlet is the one in the hoodie. She's got a little red riding hood on. So I'm making a black one and I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a black bunny and I'm thinking of the color for the hood. I'm going to make this scarlet, but she's not. I don't think she's going to have a red hood. So I'm in the middle of crocheting a black bunny. I lost it yarn chicken, but it's just burnett black. So I know I have it in my closet, but I was on the couch. So it wasn't near me. Not one bit. So I got two more whips to show you. This is the start of a hippopotamus free pattern. I wanted to like try out a couple free patterns and talk to you guys like, oh, this one's worth it. This one's not worth it. Um, and so I'm going to obviously try them before I tell you guys how I feel about it. But this is just a hippopotamus. It was a cute, it looks like a cute hippo. So I'm going to try it out. Um, I needed the safety eyes and I waited until I got my safety eye popper, which now I have. So I could now finish this hippo. And Zero Gravity Crochet, she released um, a pack of, I think, five cows, and I purchased her pattern on Etsy. So this is the lavender pattern, uh, so I just need to do the head. I forget why I stopped crocheting. I didn't, maybe I needed polyfill. There was a reason why I stopped in the middle <laughs> right there, but I'm about to start the head. So that's where I am with all my projects. I really enjoy bringing you guys along with me. I'm gonna show you guys the order that I got this morning. Yeah, when I tell you guys, I feel like I barely crocheted this week. I mean, I feel like I took so many days off from crocheting. I was just pretty tired. And again, I had to work six days with my nine to five job. So it was a lot and I would come home and I would start crocheting and I'd fall asleep and it really, some of the days I didn't even crochet anything. Some of the days I just would attach the hair to the to the dolls. So I really didn't do much. My dog is so excited. Kayla, why are you so excited? Okay. I wanted to show you guys my... I, I did take one of the days to organize all my safety eyes because I did have a wild... I had a huge mess here. I was just, the whole table was covered in my painting of safety eyes. So I have now organized them and they are in this box. Not like packaged per se, but packaged enough where I know where stuff is. So here's my little box. So here's my scale. Let me flip you around so I can talk to you. So this is just how I'm organizing them for now. So these are like center facing 18 millimeter and then the color. Some of them aren't completely done yet, but these are center facing. These are the kawaii facing. And then they just go up in size. So these are all 18 millimeter. These are 20 millimeter. So I only got a couple done of those, 20 millimeter. She ordered Fraljord, which <laughs> my bag is empty. So I gotta paint those. And Demacia. So I think I have to paint both of the ones from the order today. And then I have my 25 millimeter painted in here, the huge ones. Some of them are not done either, but most of them are done. So that's like how I'm keeping this organized because when I order the safety eyes, they just come in big bags, which are not, they're not very organized. So this is how I'm keeping track of like my inventory. I obviously need to make more 20 millimeter. And these are some of the backings for the 20 millimeter. And here's just packaging supplies. Oh, the buddies. So yeah, that's that's how I'm doing. I'm gonna show you guys the eyes that I paint. So I did wanna come in here and just say that I am in a pattern test right now uh, that I got chosen for, which is a moth, a cute little moth by Knotted Cat. So that's super exciting. I checked it out last night and it looks very, very cute. And it comes with like a little coloring page, so it's interactive. So there's that and uh, also, I, I have a couple things coming in the mail this next week. Um, so I ordered, I have gone to my Joann's multiple times this week, even though I haven't really been crocheting much. I, you know, after work, I'll go check Joann's because I keep hearing about this baby bear yarn and I keep checking Joann's and my Joann's is out of stock. It says out of stock online, but out of stock in person. So I can't get it. And 
I finally just found it online and ordered some online. So that's gonna be coming, I think on Tuesday. So in a couple days, and I will be able to test it out. And I'm gonna be comparing maybe a pattern that I do all the time to a pattern that I do in Baby Bear. If you guys wanna see that, I think that's what I'm gonna be doing when I get the yarn. So I ordered Baby Bear, that's on its way. It's St. Patty's Day, so happy St. Patty's Day. What whips are you guys working on? What project do you have out right now? What project do you wanna work on? If you have a goal for working on a new pattern, I'm here with you. I wanna work on a new pattern today. There have been a couple patterns that I've purchased that I really wanna try out. But I haven't really given the time of day and I think I might give them some time today because I have all day and with no work and crochet is not work <laughs> crochet is calming I wanted to also say in my last video where I had my cute little Q&A which is just me sharing about myself I just wanted to say hi you guys there are so many people in here now who game who crochet who are just creative little happy people. And thank you so much for sharing. I have really been enjoying talking to you guys and hearing from you, like games that you guys play or things that you recommend, things you enjoy, what you do. A lot of people with like, hey, same here, you know, or with all the fur babies, like so many, so many people. So welcome in, it's nice to have you here. I can't believe this morning I refreshed YouTube and it said 1800. Thank you so much. What the heck is happening? Um, 1,800 of you are tuning in, saying hi, hanging out, and that's just such a blessing. And I love to have you guys here. And I can't wait to keep sharing and share more and let you guys know how this little business goes called Sweet Bean Crochet. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. That was everything I was able to produce. If you want to see me testing out Baby Bear or market prepping or packing my second ever safety order, that'll be coming up next week. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.